It's your boy Skuma, aka the Shooter, and I'm back with yet another banger for the streets, man. For the YouTube streets, man. This is it's for y'all, man. It's ain't for me. It's for y'all, man. I'm back. In today's video, man, I got a review for the Jordan One Phantom Red. I know that I know that everybody ain't too fond of these. These ain't all. These ain't got the hype. But to me, these are a banger, man. These are a banger. Like, the, the stuff that people hate about them is what I love about them, man. I like the vintage look. I like I like the cell colorway. And yet, I love the price that I pay for these babies. I paid a whopping $136 for these joints, bro. $136 on release day, man. My boy plugged me in with the military discount, man, at Foot Locker. And, um, yeah, $136. So, for $136... These are a must cop, must cop. And today, man, I'm gonna do my quick review. My quick review is something I'm gonna do real quick fast because I know that these ain't hype. So, in other words, I'm gonna get right to it, explain it in full detail real quick, and um, I'm gonna get right to the point, show you all the, the things I like about it, what I don't like about it, man, and let's get to it. People don't like about this. I love about these joints, man. People will hate this wrinkle leather. People say it looks cheap and it is poor, poor quality, but the wrinkle leather people don't understand. It's supposed to look like. I mean, it's supposed to look like this, and it it really gives it that vintage look, man. And um, let's get to the turntable for the closer look. What most people hate about this shoe is what I love about this shoe. People really hate the wrinkle leather. And they hate this smooth grain leather. They saying that, that it's poor quality because it don't feel like the shattered backboards or the shadows or some of the ones that they're used to. But to me, it's fire. Like this right here, this material right here, I don't really know what it's called. But it's nice and smooth, man. I think it's butter. The black stitching, which is white and sail, sets it off, man. It really sets the shoe off, man. And to me, I would use the black shoestrings uh, versus the white because I think that the black Two strings will highlight the black stitching, and the stitching really gives it that vintage look. These is dope to me, man. Like, I really don't like white shoes, but these, well, I don't say white, well, these, you know, like they're sale. I really don't like all light shoes, but these are a must cop, man. I'm gonna edit the whole part out. But, I, like, yeah, man, these are dope to me, man, but like, let's get a closer look on this turntable, though. Here you, here's a closer look at the Jordan 1 Phantoms. And to me, man, these joints are super, super clean. I don't see how nobody can hate on these joints, but anyway. These joints come with two sets of extra laces. You got the red, you got the black. Oh man, that tumble leather, not that tumble, that wrinkle leather is clean to me. It's different. Um, they haven't used it on any Jordan 1s, if I'm not mistaken, but I can be wrong. Um, man. This, that black stitching to me really sets it off. A white and red shoe would have just been boring, but the little hint of black stitching and a hint of black to me really sets the shoe off, man. And that soft, soft joint around the top, man, them things is clean. But there you have it, man. The clean joint. Now let's get back in front of this camera so we can finish off this video. Let go. There you have it, Jordan 1, Phantom, fire to me. Let me know if they fire to you down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell for your boy one time, please. Anyway, it's your boy Shuru checking in, checking out. Peace.